Hey, what's up, guys? Miller Massacre 19 here. I'm gonna be playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm gonna play through the whole story and I'm gonna do like different episodes. So, yeah, here we go. Yeah, the story on this game is so good. I think it's even better than the first game. It's crazy, this game. And Arthur is such a good character and everything. It's it's ridiculous. This is one of the best games that I played that's newer. There's not a lot of like good new story games, but this is one of them, definitely. This game's just crazy. A few games still tame the West. I don't know about that. <laughs> Yeah, Rockstar Games is one of the, that's one of the best game companies. They make really good games. It's crazy, the games they make. I mean, I play a lot of Friday the Thirteenth and everything, but yeah, Rockstar does. Rockstar really puts a lot of time into their games. It takes them forever to make them, but when they come out, people don't forget about these games. snow looks cool in here too the snow looks amazing in here you could like walk and you see the footsteps and everything they don't really disappear until you're like really far away from them but yeah it looks really good though crazy looking game yeah mike is a bastard in this game too we'll have to stop someplace okay arthur's out looking i sent him up ahead yeah, I like how they show Dutch, too. Dutch is a really good character. They didn't really show him too much in the first game, but in here they did. They showed him in here. He's really good. I think I found some shelter. <laughs> old mine in town. Come on. Yeah, this is cool. This is the closest thing you're going to get to, like, a Clint Eastwood type game where you could be, like, a cowboy. This game's really good. I love playing this shit. I beat this how many times? It's a good game. I beat the first one, too, a lot, but that, that there's nothing like this game. And it's cool how they put John in it, too. And then you play as John at the end. Chapter 1, Coulter. It's sad how Hosea dies. Bring him in here. But that'll happen later. <laughs> like, I'm not going to keep on spoiling it. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Mr. I'm gonna try not to talk too much during the cutscenes. Baby's dead. There was nothing more. It sucks that you never even really get to see Davy. Davy dies, but you don't really know anything about him, so it's hard to really care. And Jenny, that other girl they talk about, you don't know who that is either. I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out, see if we can find one of them. <laughs> Just a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had, well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. You don't get to see Mac either. But we lost some folks. I have no idea what he fucking looks like. If I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it. It's crazy but how like somewhat good of a person he is in right. the beginning of the game, but then once you get toward the We're end, Dutch is like Dutch food. gets very weird. <laughs> you'll see safe. it though. You'll see it. It'll take yeah. a while, but you'll see it. Nobody. Following us through a storm like this one. And by the time oh fuck no, here, not back then. Well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. 
We've been through they would die from a common before. cold back then. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. <laughs> There's Uncle. Now all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Bill looks different in this game too. Stay strong. Stay with me. We We're done, done yet. yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. Yeah, the only character model I think that they really yes. fucked up on was John's. I mean, he looks alright, but John's character model's They're funny looking. He looks cool in the first game, and here he looks kind of weird. I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. God, this game is beautiful. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. I'm telling you what. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how many I'll years live. go by. This game's gonna look crazy no matter what year you you fucking play it. Alright, here we go. Come on, let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. I could see going to look for John, but I would never go look for Micah. Micah's a dickhead. <laughs> You'll see it. I don't even know how they survived two days out in this shit. Like, even now, you'd freeze to death. I don't care what kind of coat you have on. I don't care if you have fucking hand warmers. You'd die <laughs> if you got stuck out in this shit. Hey, <sighs> yeah, you see that? You see the, the footprints of the horse? It looks crazy looking in here. Looks fucking good. I hope Rockstar makes a Red Dead 3 instead of GTA. I always thought Red Dead was way more fun than GTA because GTA is just like the world that you live in now. You didn't get to experience this kind of world, so it's th this is a better game, I think. These the Red Dead, the two Red Dead games. I never understood why gangs even have a leader. Everybody should just like stick together and like rule as a group. I don't I don't understand why you need a leader. I never understood that. <laughs> I've heard... No, I'm not even going to spoil it. I'm not even going to spoil it. <laughs> I want to talk about it so bad because I love this game, but I can't, I just can't. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. I already spoiled enough in the beginning when I was talking. <laughs> you up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. Where did how he got that scar on his chin? He probably got his ass beat. He's a pussy. That's too bad. You should see him around camp. Sometimes people beat him up when he starts shit because he's such a little scrawny fuck. Mike is. So even how he answers, like, always. You'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're alright, too. No, always. He's a f douchebag. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anything would be chasing you out in this. You don't even gotta worry about covering anything. <laughs> Maybe if there's a bear or something, I'd be that shit my fucking pants. You run into anybody else? I I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, 
Now they're the ones brave enough to go out in it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go out in this shit either. You get lost, they never find you again. Why you speak to him? He's a fucking dickhead. Go speak to them. They'd shoot him on sight. How much further? Not far. Boy, does that mean? Not far. Thanks. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Even the lanterns look good. Oh goddamn! This snow gets right to the bone. Oh, I'm sure it does. <laughs> Especially with their coats back then. They, maybe they had better quality ones. I don't know. Because the coats we have now are kind of cheap. Their coats look a lot more like beefier looking than ours do. I don't know how true that is though. I'm not a fucking expert. Okay. Let's keep it down. Like Arthur's coat looks really fucking warm. Yeah, you definitely don't want people seeing you. <laughs> And this is where you meet my least favorite character besides Micah in the game. Sadie. <laughs> I, I can't stand Sadie. I don't like that whole feminist bullshit. But that's alright if you do. I'm not going to get too into that because I know how people are now, nowadays. I'm, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just, I'm not even going to talk about it. <laughs> I gotta hitch my horse. Yeah, I love the health core system in this game, too. How you how you have to eat. Like, in the first game, you don't have to really, like, even take medicine or anything. It's just to get your health up. And here, you have to eat to keep yourself, like, well. I, I like that. We don't want to scare I love folks. that shit. It's, like, it, it's more immersive when you play it. All right. Sounds like quite the party. <laughs> yeah, they got the fiddle out. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than... Three nasty looking degenerates. Oh yeah, you look like a gang walking together like that. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left. Yep, you got it. God, even the breath. He's breathing, you could see it. Man, that looks so crazy. When I was a kid, games did not look like that. This looks so fucking good. I'd be afraid to walk up to that house. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way. Lost in the storm. Uh, These guys don't look too friendly to begin with. You, mister. I got folks. Arthur. On the Arthur, we got a problem. There's a corpse right here. There's a corpse right here. In the wagon. There's a body in the wagon. I hear you. Just keep your eyes on Dutch. Shoot these motherfuckers. I'm not too good of a shot, so don't fucking... <laughs> don't remind me down in the comment section. I'm just not that good of a shot, even in a Red Dead game. I'll try, though. <laughs> Got him. Your gun feels more powerful in the beginning for some reason. I don't know why. Like, er, later on in the game, like, your gun does not feel that powerful. You could one-shot him in here. Oh, there's a fucker in the bathroom. <laughs> or in the outhouse. Get heart-shotted, motherfucker. There you go. Fuck you. Man, I love the goddamn guns in here, too. Yep, I'm behind you. Alright. 
I try to grab everything in the beginning, just to be a cheapskate. <laughs> Don't like buying food in here. And whiskey. <laughs> You're goddamn right. No, whiskey tastes like fucking rubbing alcohol. <laughs> I'm not even gonna pretend I drink that shit. God, it's bad. I had, my friend gave me like a little cap full of whiskey. Whiskey's fucking terrible. Right. Yeah, I get my health core all the way up. Yeah, this stuff don't bring your food, your health up that much. I think I can eat like one more. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw it. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. One call him dead. It's about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. The sad thing about back then is they probably could just go out in the snow and kill the people out there and you'd never find them. Guess who the hell is gonna go out there? That's a f that's fucking scary to even think about that shit. <laughs> they they did do that probably back then. Reminds me of like a casino, like how they fucking just throw people in the desert and they just never find them. <laughs> it's interesting the shit they would do to hide people if they were murderers or whatever if they had whatever they did. <laughs> it's crazy what people would do. Poor bastard was married to. Not to sound like an ass, but I wish Sadie died with him so he wouldn't have such a piss poor fucking character. But whatever. <laughs> I don't decide that. I mean, the game wouldn't feel the same without her, but I don't, I'm not a big fan of that character. Just like real life, though. If you, you have people you like and people you don't like, she just rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> I obviously hate Micah more than her because Micah's just an asshole. I mean, Sadie's not an asshole. I just don't like her. I, I just don't like the way she is. <laughs> just gets under my skin. All right, let's go up here. If I remember right, there's bullets up here. I, I don't really remember. I think so. Yeah, revolver cartridges. And okay, oh my god, oat cakes are fucking good. That's what I feed my horse all the time when I play this. Those are the fucking, that's what keeps the core up the most. I forgot what the other thing was that you can give them. It's just like, it does the same effect. I forgot what it was. I don't remember. Alright. I like the horse that you get from, uh... Fuck, what's his name? Hamish. You'll see Hamish later on. Hamish don't come for a while. But I like his horse. His horse is pretty cool. <laughs> Actually, I think I started it. Oh, no. No, no, they didn't. No, they, earlier in the game, they were getting chased by them, so probably not. I love the fist fighting in here too. It's so much better than GTA. GTA sucks. This looks like real fist fighting. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Come on, bastard. We're the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? What are you bastards Why doing? Up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> I don't ever kill him. Well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. Because I believe your honor goes up. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. <laughs> Let him go. Get the hell out of here. Go. Yeah, he would freeze to death out in that weather anyway, like they say. Alright. 
this is Arthur's dad's hat. If you see like one of the pictures, like around his uh, his tent or not his tent, whatever it's called, where he stays, his dad's pictures there. This is his dad's hat, and he gives it to. The, no, I'm not saying it. I'm not, I almost fucking. If you didn't beat the game, I almost fucking spoiled something again. But <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, good boy. Right. You're a good boy. Yeah, Arthur's one of my favorite characters in any game. They they just wrote him so fucking well. Hell yeah, I did. Gotta let him go. You don't gotta kill him. There's no point. He's not gonna. He's not posing you no threat. <laughs> nope. Yeah, pitch him. There. All right. Here he is being an asshole again. Yeah, that's why she's screaming and afraid of you, wearing clothing that looks like she stayed at the house. It is going to be okay. We mean you no harm. This is. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on. That would have been a nice house to stay at if Michael wasn't such an asshole. God, listen to the music even. I love that fucking music. That's crazy. This sounds just like a western. Good fucking music. This scene reminds you of like the Hateful Eight. I don't know if that's why they put it in the snow in the beginning or what, but it reminds you of the Hateful Eight. It's a good movie. You should go watch that if you didn't see it. If you're into westerns. Some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now. Yeah, he's worried about a train. What it is. Ridiculous. Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. <laughs> that that line's kind of awkward. You just say I haven't slept in days. You don't gotta say three days. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. <laughs> He's he's quite the fucking douchebag, ain't he? <laughs> auto save. Oh, this is just an auto save. Okay, yeah, because I beat the game before. Alright. Man, that just looks so fucking nice. Oh my god. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. 
And you? I need you to... <laughs> he knew she wanted something <laughs> with John. It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean... He may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? Yep, there's Javier. He looks completely different in this game. We've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. And... Look for me. Oh, believe me, he looks for you in the first game. <laughs> Thank you. I'll do a playthrough of the first game, maybe too, if this uh, series does pretty this good. Way, best I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked he back. He kept riding he north leave. and never looked back. Like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. God, that's that snow gotta be hell and in the morning too like when you just wake up you don't want to be in that shit <laughs> god even like midday would be pretty bad but morning would just oh my god i'd fucking be i'd be disgusted come on let's take a look let's hope it ain't more of boys well that's one you know what i think we should do the that way. Sure, well, Man, I that that was also pretty crazy how they could track stuff back then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Like now, like you need like fucking you would need like detectives and shit to find people, but they were smarter back then than most people now. With that kind of stuff with like outdoors cuz we don't really a lot of people aren't outdoors anymore. Like to be like how they are. Could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. All right, guys. Here we go now. I had to, I had to just record another portion of this because it was getting too long. But yeah, all right, I'm back now. Yeah, they get into a lot of like gun fights in here and it, it that would be like some of them would be like impossible to survive in real life. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Yeah, imagine but falling down now you'd be around. fucked. Bad way. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him though. Oh, they're talking about the girl at Dutch shot. <laughs> the left. That here. you also hear about in the first game. That's sad how many members of their gang die. That's what happens when you break the fucking law. Even back then, they they were a lot more harsh back then to people too. Now nowadays, you steal, you just get put in jail for a little bit. But here, if you stole or did anything, like even like some minor stuff, they would hang you. Even like rustling livestock, you'd get fucking, you'd get hanged for that. They would hang you for like, I, I don't know, just not <laughs> stuff that's not worth hanging somebody over. I don't know. That would be scary nowadays if they did that. Holy shit. Come on! Getting tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. We can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Yeah, maybe. See what I mean? Like, that's crazy right there. Almost there. 
they don't they don't have any tracks right now, and they they still manage to find them. Like that's that's insane. <laughs> I'm sure there was situations where that happened in real life before too. I wouldn't be able to find my way out. I can't fucking find my way out of a fucking wet paper bag. <laughs> if I got lost somewhere like this, I would be done. I'd die. <laughs> That's sad. Someone ate the fucking... A wolf probably ate the horse. Come on. Up there. And this is how what they show you where John gets his scars. This is where they show it. Coming up soon. You don't want the horses sliding off this fucking mountain. <laughs> the sawed off. Those are illegal now, unless you buy them fucking. Unless you buy them like that, <laughs> where they're pre-made like that. But if you saw it off, you're going to jail for a long time in real life. It's cool though in this game. It's cool to see him one hand a fucking double barrel sawed off. I could tell you right now in real life, your fucking your wrist be hurting if you did that. Your wrist would be fucking. I don't know. It would probably turn black and blue after shooting it one-handed. I shot a shotgun, a normal shotgun, with fucking both hands, a 12-gauge. That motherfucker kicks you in the shoulder pretty hard. If you did it with a sawed-off, oh, God. With one hand, it'd go flying out of your hand. I can almost guarantee you. Unless you're strong. <laughs> yeah. Look at that shit. You can't even see the bottom because of the snow. You sure about this? Over here. <laughs> I, I used to have a habit of like jumping on this park because it looked like there was a gap there, but there isn't. I like how he puts the shotgun, the sawed off, in the pistol holster, the in the revolver holster. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. I wouldn't even want to go here in real life. I'd say, can you just send somebody else? Yeah, imagine falling off that. They would. They, I don't even think your friends would be able to find you either, because if you fell off that, oh my god, you'd probably get buried in fucking snow. And then it would just cover you because it's still snowing yet and it's blowing around. It is cold. <laughs> it's cold in my fucking house right now, too. <laughs> Freezing my ass off. It's a few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of this. I'm not designed for this snow. Alright, gotta go get John. I got disconnected from PSN for some reason. My Wi Fi ain't working either. I gotta see what's going on with that. John! You there? John! John! That's John! We're coming! We're coming. Yeah, I, I love John as a character too. He's a really good character, but. I don't know. I when when I played this game, I got really attached to Arthur. Arthur is one of my favorite characters. There's no one better than him. <laughs> I can't think of any other game characters. Arthur's by far my fucking favorite. That's quite a scratch you got there. Jesus Christ, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, it is. You don't look so good. I, don't feel too good, I think his arm's bleeding too. Yeah, he got cut off. Yeah, see right there, he ripped his coat too. I like how realistic they made it with that too. He says that he had a friend that got bit by a dog and he died. And, yeah, and it makes it like scarier for John too because it's just like you, you probably would. You, if you got bit by a fucking wolf, you would get rabies and they wouldn't know what the fuck to do about it. 
would not want to be around in those times. No matter how cool the fucking areas are and everything, and the weapons, the people. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh my god, look at that shot. That's fucking nice. That's beautiful. If this game didn't get a 10 out of 10, fuck whoever reviewed this shit. Honestly. <laughs> if you don't like this, there's something wrong with you. Even if you don't like it, you have to appreciate how good this fucking game looks. Oh my fucking god, wow. Yeah, fuck them, let's go. Get him on that fucking horse. Alright, here we go. God, yeah, that gotta be fucking hell. <laughs> Got bites all in them, and they're out in the snow. Come on, then. Yep, Step we gotta get to moving. I love shooting off the horse in this game too. It's so cool. <laughs> I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. I'm just so biased towards this game because I just I don't know. It, it, I just love this fucking game. And the first one. I gotta warn you guys, though. If you get a Undead Nightmare, don't buy that game. Because there's a glitch that ruins the whole fucking game. You can't beat Undead Nightmare, Red Dead Undead Nightmare, because there's a headless glitch where... It happens almost every time. I don't know what causes it. The zombies become headless, and you fucking can't play it, so I just don't buy that game. I'll save you the trouble of wasting any money on it, because, believe me. And if you don't believe me, go out and buy a watch, I'm telling you. You're, you're, you're gonna be in for a rude awakening when you fucking get the headless glitch and you can't beat it. There's no point of buying it. Unless you want to just go out around killing the zombies, and that's it. Without story, but there's no point of buying it. It's a story-based game. So I'm just letting you guys know I'm trying to help you out. Just about. God, yeah, he's a pincushion for fucking getting shot. Hint, hint, I'm not gonna fucking tell you. You should probably know the ending of Red Dead 1 by now, but if you don't, <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. So, freezing, bleeding, starving. Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. God damn, it doesn't look like much of a camp, does it? <laughs> right on. Help John down off Looks like a really fucking shitty camp, but what are you gonna do out in the snow? What else can you ask for besides a fucking a house and, and a fire in there? A fireplace. We get some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. Here alive! You're alive! There we go. There we go. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas! It's his leg! Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new Got any lost maidens need saving? Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks, I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That's civilization. I know. Yeah, why don't they go somewhere else? Where our problems are worse. I mean, I... Come on. It's Mr. because Dutch wants to rob boy. shit, but... Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> Again, why would you let him be a leader? Especially after what he pulls here in this fucking snow town up in here. 
he he fucking goes and robs a train, even though you, you fucking really do not need to be fucking worrying about that. For weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. All right. So what now, Dutch? That's a phrase you're going to hear a lot throughout this game. What now, Dutch? <laughs> Another phrase you're going to hear a lot of is, I have a plan. I'm sure you saw the fucking memes on it. Doubtful, just worried. Speak with Bill. What do you think, Arthur? Well, I wasn't on that boat, so hard to say. But I trust your judgment, Dutch. Always have. Thank you, son. We have been shot at before. I don't know. If I was the leader, or if I was Arthur, I, I would just trust Hosea. I, I I think that fucking... I don't know. He, he's seen more with his age. I I would... I, I look up to people that are older because, you know, they've, they've seen it. They, they've done it. There's... <laughs> if you're younger, believe me, there, there's shit that older people know that you, you don't know. Believe me, they've seen it. I would listen to Hosea. <laughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. Old and wise, that's why they say that. <laughs> food and a rabbit. For what? Ten, twelve people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got to do in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Good way to talk to your friends. I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. Yeah. <laughs> we'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. They sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. That's another character I like. I like Charles, too. Charles is pretty cool. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. I swear it's salted awful. Salted awful. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> yeah, I remember when this game released. I got it the day it came out. My mom had to go pick it up for me because I was I was a fucking I was in high school and I fucking I had a project that I didn't want to do. And we'll scare off every animal for miles around. And I had to sit there and do it, but my mom picked it up for me. I <laughs> imagine. So I still got it the day it came out. Right. I remember my grandfather helped me do the project. Man, it was crazy. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you got them days like that. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay. Apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right I don't know what happened to his hand. I think he might have got shot. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill? It ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. Yeah. See, I would need, I'd kind of be like Arthur. I wouldn't know what the fuck I'm doing either. I'd be like, yeah, you could show me how to find him. I don't know how. <laughs> North from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Crazy. God, I just love the graphics on this game. 
I really do. Look at that. Look at the water, even. Fucking nice looking. Holy shit. I remember when water in games would just be like a solid color in the water. And it would just be like a little bit of waves. It would never look like that. The reflection of the fucking sun hits it, too. It just, it, it looks so fucking nice. It really does. I see if, if that was me in real life, I'd be like, why? <laughs> why is that good? But again, I ain't that intelligent. The winds died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad. But if it's too strong, they won't move. Never claimed to be a wise man. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Easy. Yeah, this is the hunting part. These deer been here recently. How can you tell? He's a smart ass here. How can you not? Yeah, how can you not? What do you mean? Let's walk it from here. Alright. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. I could see that being really hard to use the hunt. I wouldn't know how to use a bow. I think I'd be better using a gun. <laughs> My hands aren't steady in real life. Move quietly and slowly. Oh, it wants me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I gotta hunt it. It's not letting me use my hunting shit yet. I think so. Maybe not. Focus. Oh, you gotta let him say focus first, and then it does it. Okay. Yeah, I'm used to just running right in and doing it. <laughs> I beat this so many times, but you know, it's just this game always brings me back. Always brings me back in just the story. I'm not a big fan of online because online is just annoying. Like it's just grinding, like how GTA is. I'm not into that. Wait, look. The story. I just love the stories. There they are. There we go. See, like, I don't know. I don't know if if you guys have that too, where like in the beginning of the story, it feels like your weapons are more powerful when you're up in the snow up here. I don't know why. I don't know if that's just me thinking that or what it is. It could just be me thinking that. Oh shit. I almost spooked him. <laughs> see, that, see? That one's wounded. I think that happens every time you play through it. It gets wounded because it's just to show you that it can. But yeah, look at that. That's crazy looking. Look at the look at the blood trail even. It's really fucking good. My friend hunts, and he said that you wouldn't do that. He said you would shoot it in the head. And he said that when you skin it, too, the guts would be all over you. <laughs> There's no guts in here for it. I should probably turn hints off. I know how to do everything. But I'm just, I just leave them on. I don't really fuck with the settings at all. Whatever they have it on, that's what they intend you to have it on. Alright. Oh my god. I'm fucking tired. <laughs> my stamina went down so quick when I was carrying this fucking thing. <laughs> Alright. It's crazy how strong horses are, too. I... You can just put a big ass fucking deer on the back of it and it carries it. It carries saddlebags, deer, all that stuff on its fucking back, and it's just it's, it's crazy. And your weight on top of it—that's crazy. How strong fucking horses are. Yeah, I, I could say that too. Call of Duty. <laughs> Suck at that game. When real people shoot back, they kill you. Yeah, 
seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Fuck no, I wouldn't want to be driving a wagon through this neither. <laughs> and even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. I would trust Jose way more than Dutch. Dutch starts to just get insane throughout the game. had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good though we caught more than one. A lot of mouths to feed. And that girl from the ranch now, too. But not sure she'll be eating much. She has a wild look Not after eyes. seeing that, no way. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. Oh. So what do we do with her? Once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. That really that shows that the gang's not like all bad. They they take people in that need help. That's that's pretty cool too. That's that shows that they're somewhat good people. Not all of them, but they're not all good, <laughs> but some of them are. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang, nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back, and not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. And they tell Dutch tells you that. Revenge is a fool's game. So does Arthur. Arthur tells you that, and you'll see that 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 changes throughout the game. How Dutch feels about that. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough. He's got a lot of meat on him. He must be real hungry. Stay well back. Yeah, right. Imagine. Imagine trying to kill that fucking thing. Away. I'd be afraid to even go near a fucking bear in real life. There's a guy on YouTube who survived a bear attack. His fucking arm was like, his bone was sticking out of his goddamn arm. Oh god, you wanna see something fucked up? Look that shit up. I forgot what the video was called, but yeah, he survived a bear attack. Two, I think it was two fucking bear attacks. The bear attacked him and then it came back. God, it was fucked up. Level 2 horse bonding. The horse bonding seems to go up pretty quick here, too. Maybe it's just because of, like, the stress the snow puts on the horse that it's, like, it's making it work more for you. So then it, the bonding goes up quicker. I, I don't know. Five, six months? Something like that? But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature alive. Oh yeah, many jobs go wrong during this game. You want me to move on? No. Oh, not at all. I just know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. At the beginning, he is. At the beginning, he's different from other gangs, but he starts to just become, it's like, fucked up. You'll see it. That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Hey? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years. Yeah. So he'd be in his thirties here, maybe. John too. Late thirties, mid thirties. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. <laughs> he always sees us right. He sees you right in the beginning. <laughs> How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. 
I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. You know, if that was me back then, with a horse, I would never let anybody ride my fucking horse. Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the cow once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Alright. Getting up on the camp. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Yeah, the horses look really good in here. <sighs> the way they move. The way the horses move in this game are like it's way more realistic than the first game. The first game is good too, it's but it's you gotta understand, that game's ten years old. It's not gonna be as good as this game. There's a lifetime of practice to master. I'm sure I wouldn't be able to use a bow. What a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shit, get lost. Well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. <laughs> Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. Bitter. The only thing. <laughs> Bitter, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'm be fine. I'm surprised there aren't fights with how Arthur talks to different people. It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> you always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. Yeah, you might not like Arthur right now, but you'll you'll like him throughout the game if you if you didn't play it yourself. You probably played it yourself and seen it already, but yeah, if you never played it, yeah, you're, you'll like him throughout the game. You get attached to him. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, yeah, take one word out of that sentence. Legitimate, yeah. That, <laughs> replace that with no money. You make none for skinning, really. Maybe a dollar or two. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. But you make enough money throughout this game with the stuff you do, like the missions, that you don't even got to worry about selling pelts. good Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <laughs> oh shit.